Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add images um, into your your game, your window. And um, the first thing is is adding them up here. So you can actually do it through here, and you can insert things. But I find it's easier just to work with the, the uh, file explorer. So if you right click on any of these files, and you go down to Open in Explorer, you get straight to the directory wherever your project saved on your computer. So what I would suggest is then in here, if I make a new folder and I'll call it images, because typically that's where I'd usually put my images. And then I go in there and I move any files that I might want to use. So um, these were some files, I'll just show you them, that um, I use for this project. I'll make them available somewhere if you want to use these, but it's just a little Python icon. Um, so if I click on the properties, you can see it's 128. So I think in my video I said 32, but these icons are about 128 pixels uh, wide and high, so they're quite small. Um, I've got a higher and a lower image I'll make up here when somebody's, you know, when the number's higher or lower, and it adds something I made for the title, which is um, not the nicest, but it will do it shows how to add images so i've got all those images and i need to remember their names in the images file uh, folder and you'll see it's now appeared up here look so it's nice and easy to use within the project so first things first then it's um adding them so what i did is i then made a separate uh, module called draw items um so i'll call it at the end of create ui and then um i'm going to run it here so uh, draw items sorry i, I call it there i'm going to make it here so i'm going to use this to draw my items so let's start with the logo so i'm going to use the small one so i'm going to do self dot image logo uh, equals and I'm using there's a couple of ways of doing this I'm going to use a pix map which is obviously a map of pixels and then in brackets I just uh, give it the name so it was images forward slash title it was capital T I think title small let me just check yep yeah. and I need the extension Let's see it won't work so png so if we run this, nothing will happen at the minute. But can you see up here, the little Python files now appeared, the Python image. So you see that looks nicer than what it looked like before. So uh, if I remind you what it looked like before, that's the easiest way of doing it. Let's comment out some of this. So I found out you can still have that. Let's comment out this line here. So it looked like that, which is just like a little window icon. So it's so much nicer to have an icon that's in some way linked to your code. So we've got that. So then let's add this image. So remember, we've got our grid based system. So we use that in a sec. So um, we're going to say self dot logo equals a Q label. So you use Q labels a lot. And we can put things on queue labels and then we're going to say self.logo which is this queue label and we're going to do set pix map so set the pixels and we're going to use the uh, image logo to do it self dot image logo so basically we make a pix map here of our image and put it into image logo we then make a Q label and then we set the pixels of the Q label to be the same as the image effectively. So we're making our image into a Q label. And then we can do things with it. So uh, we can, for example, we can assign, um, align it. So self.logo um, dot set alignment. And then in here, it took me a while to work this out, but you have to put quite a long 
a thing in here for what you want. So Qt dot alignment flag dot and then align and you've got some options look and I'm going to do center. So I'm going to align it in the middle wherever I put it and I'm going to then add it to my grid. So I'm going to do self dot grid dot add widget and I'm going to add self dot logo is the widget I'm adding and then here is the positions you're going to add them to. So if I put zero zero, that means row zero, column zero. So when I run it, it's in row zero, column zero. But based on the size I set my window, 600 by 500, that pushes it into the middle because this is effectively one big row and column. So until I start adding other elements to my game, that's what is going to move it around basically. So add up, as I add more columns and more rows later, it's going to move it up or left or whatever. You've also got the ability after this to do row span and column span. So you'll see why later, but I'm going to say I want this to be spanning one row because we're, I'm only going to have things in, in, there's only one. Yeah, there's only one thing in that top row. I was just trying to think in my head about where I'm going to go with this. Um, but I'm going to want three columns in that row. So I want it to span all three because underneath it, I'm going to have three things later on um, going across. And I want the title to span across all three of them. So I'm going to have it zero, zero, and then have it just going on one row. But I want it to span three columns. So like, like I say, on, on one of the rows underneath, I'm going to have three columns in that row. So I want this to span across. So when I run that, it's still appearing. You can't tell there's three. It's going to span over three columns because at the minute there's sort of only one. But as I add other things, this will make more sense. So that's how easy it is to add an image. It's quite straightforward. And it's the grid is one way of laying things out, which works quite well for programs. But there are others if you find this is in some way limiting for what you're trying to do. Yeah. Thank you.